Hey there, my youngest kiddos. This is Mr. King for the kindergarten through um, second grade classes. I am here to teach you guys. We're gonna make some bugs like the older kids are doing, but we're gonna do it in a slightly different way. I wanna show you the materials you're gonna need. You're gonna need a pair of scissors. So this adult pair is just because I got big hands, but um, you know, for you kiddos out there, hopefully you've got some kids scissors kicking around somewhere. Um, you're going to need a roll of tape or anything else that is going to uh, make a nice, decent sized circle. I think roll tape is fantastic, but you could use the end of like a cup or a glass, no problem. You're gonna want some sort of glue, so that can be liquid or stick glue. Um, you're gonna want a pencil, and then you are also going to want um, something to color with. So you can use markers, or you can use, I have construction paper crayons here, which I'm gonna use my little guys to show them. They're really fun. They're kind of like clean oil pastels, but oil pastels, crayons, colored pencils, um, markers, they all work. This is all fine. So anything you got that's colored, even colored pens are gonna be fine. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna work, also we're gonna need three different kinds of paper. Um, I'm gonna use a black construction paper, a bit of cardstock here for my backing, just gets a little thicker. And then also, uh, this is really another fun one, if you happen to have like any leftover wrapping materials, I'm gonna use some tissue paper as well. Uh, but you really don't have to. You could use any types of paper you want as long as there's some sort of variation in the color. Uh, so, and even if you don't, you could just use markers to color each paper or whatever color you want for this project or outline stuff. So no worries if you can't find a lot of different stuff uh, that way. So anyways, here we are. We are going to make a bug. So I have attached a, a fun little bug video to watch just for inspiration of the kinds of different bugs that are out there. But we're gonna make kind of a beetle type bug with our little ones. And so this really only requires a couple of skills. One thing is we're gonna learn about tracers. We're gonna trace um, a tracer, but in this case, I love tape rolls because you can trace the outside if you've got a little one who's a little more coordinated, or if they're having a hard time with those fine motor skills, guess what, the inside of the um, tape roll is way easier to trace. So I'll use the inside to show you the easy way. So what I'm gonna do, first up, I'm gonna take my black paper here. Now you could take your black or you could take your white, whichever one you wanna go with. I'm just gonna leave my card stock since it's thicker to the side to attach everything onto. And I'm going to trace my circle, okay? So once I've traced it, guess what? I'm gonna cut that sucker out right here. So let's cut out our circle that we have just made. So this is something that can be kind of challenging for the kindergarten guys. They need a little help cutting out. And one thing to remind them of is you really don't need to be all that accurate when you're cutting out your circle. Um, if you're a little bit off on your line where you're cutting, and it's just kind of circular, this will still work fine. So don't, don't stress out about that. So now I've got my circle. So this is going to actually become the body of my bug in just a minute. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take another paper. Let me take my tissue paper. And let me show you a cool trick. If you wanna get a little more bang for your buck, take two different colors. Maybe ones you like together, like I like this red and this blue. Trace over both of them to get your circle at the same time. I think you know where I'm going with that, which is once I have traced it, and as long as I kind of keep my hand firmly together on this, I can cut both at the same time. Again, if you don't cut this perfectly, it's really not that big of a deal because it just needs to be kind of close to the circle. Even if it wasn't close to the circle, I would still make this work. You know, for a little guy who's still just developing those fine motor skills and those gross motor skills for that matter, it's okay. So now, with a tissue paper one or whatever paper you put on top, whether this be a different color of construction paper or regular white paper, you're gonna then cut that in half. And now if we wanna talk about basic shapes, we have a circle and now we have two sets of semicircles, which is a lot of fun to say semicircles. It means part of a circle. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use my glue and uh, oh, I have to reach over a little bit. Excuse my reach. And I'm gonna get my glue stick you could use liquid glue for this. I think glue sticks are easier and much easier for kids to keep from making a huge mess with. I'm gonna glue down my black dot right in the middle. And then I'm going to add a little bit of glue onto my tissue paper. Tissue paper is nice because it just, it loves to adhere and glue down. It's actually okay if you don't glue down every part. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my tissue paper, you know, a little bit diagonally off my circle on one side. And then I'm gonna do my tissue paper on the other side the same way. Let's time I'm gonna put the glue on the paper, it's a little easier. And then guess what, put a little glue on top of those. 
And I take those two other semicircles, and this time I'm going to turn them just a little further out than the last one. Oh, yeah. I think you can already see what's happening here. So now I have made the wings of some sort of awesome little beetle bug right here. And now is the really fun part of putting on some cool details. So this is where I would think markers, crayons, or a colored pencil would really come in handy. I'm just going to use a black marker since I got the black body here. I like how that looks. And I'm going to make a little bump on top. I'm going to color that in. And if you wanted to, you wouldn't have to color it in. You could do the details. You could draw your eyes and stuff. But I like the idea of the bug, bug's body being black because I get a lot of contrast here. And you can make, like, you know, the little pincers out on top. So my bug's going to be a little bit more realistic that way because it's going to have those actual little mandibles. And then let's give them, like, kind of long antenna. Right there. And fun thing is... If you can kind of peel up the, the wings a little bit to get underneath, you can do some really kind of nice bug legs. And this can be just as cartoony as you want. If you don't want this to look kind of gross like a real bug, then especially for your kindergarten kids, you could definitely just do like, you know, a cartoony happy face little bug there. And that is fine. There's, there's nothing wrong with that. If that's the way you want to roll, all power to you. Man, I, I must have glued down the corner of this one. I did. Um, you know, so working with some mistakes here myself. I made a mistake with that leg. Let's do a leg up here. So you guys can see I got my cool little bug already started up on here. I think it looks pretty neat already. And you can go as crazy as you want with this. I might go in, if you have like little stickers, fun thing to add little patterns to the back with. Um, or if you just have like a, a nice oil pastel, you could put those down right there, but check this out. Instead of an oil pastel, I do want to, I'm going to, I'm going to pitch a material here. I'm going to tell you, Crayola makes some cool stuff in general for kids, but uh, construction paper crayons, man, oh man, these are fun. Uh, they're not that expensive. Great to order on Amazon. You can still find them if you look hard enough at certain art stores and uh, sometimes even at Walmarts and things like that. But these things are basically oil pastels that are a lot easier to maintain and clean because oil pastels are really greasy and oily, obviously. So cool thing with this, if I want to add some neat details. I mean, look how, how much that color really pops on that black construction paper. That's really why I did the black construction paper, because I really wanted them to get a chance to use the construction paper crayons. So you can make some really neat patterns and add a lot of cool stuff to your bugs. And that's it. That's really everything. I mean, you what I would do for kids for the extension of this project, they want a little more work time on this and they're just really digging it, is um, color the background a little bit. You know, go a little crazy, have some fun with it. Um, make some extra details, cut some extra paper, make mini versions, like, you know, the baby versions of the same bug they've made. You can really take this and roll with it as far as you possibly want. Um, you know, some of my kids even love afterwards, they're like, I really want to cut this out. So they cut out this bug and then we make like another piece of paper that becomes the leaf that the bug is on or something, which again, you can do, you can kind of go any way you want with this. The only things I'm looking for is a very short conversation about semicircles, which are a basic shape. Um, and then circles, obviously, being a basic shape as well. And then the other part is, if you can, you can start talking about this really big word, symmetry, which a lot of you adults out there will know, is when two things are the same on, on more than one side, um, meaning almost like a, a mirror image, one of the other. And our bug is, the way we've drawn it, symmetrical. If I split it in half right here, you're going to see it's the same basic shape set on either side. So, it's pretty cool. Well, that's it. Remember to put your name on your work. Uh, I didn't get a chance in the bottom of this one, but uh, you know, these are a lot of fun. You can have a swarm of bugs in your home, but uh, yeah, hope you guys have an awesome time. I will catch you next time for the next video for next week and uh, keep making art, keep enjoying, you know, whatever you can with coloring and, and doodling and drawing and uh, stay colorful. I'll see you later.